So you've grown lettuce indoors and you've wondered at times, what else can I grow? How about a summer squash? This is a monstrous plant and you have to have a lot of area to grow it. It's parthenocarpic and does not require bees to uh, pollinate the flowers. It's close to four feet across and about 36 inches high. The large leaves uh, collect a lot of light and I'm actually using a 100 watt Osri LED light to grow it. You might say, well, that's great, but you won't get any uh, summer squash off of it. However, I have been getting summer squash. I've picked two already. Here are some more. This one is ready for picking. And uh, what I like to do is pick them at this size, uh, slice them, and uh, prepare those with a little bit of uh, butter and salt. Now, it is very prolific. The container that I'm using is from Black Magic. It's called a Gropel. It holds around six gallons of nutrient. I have uh, changed the nutrient out at 30 days and about every 30 days uh, there's a little tube inside that I could pump out the nutrient and then I can lift one of these uh, plates and fill the nutrients back up. I actually started the seed for the uh, squash in an arrow garden bounty like this one. I used one of their plastic baskets like this white one with a grow sponge inside and planted the seed. The squash plant, uh, when it germinates, has substantially larger leaves compared to this cucumber and covered outwards quite a bit. Because of the size of the plant, I can no longer get to the net pot that it's sitting in because of the thick growth. but. This entire plant is in a two inch net cup. Now, this is uh, simply amazing because uh, most folks will say that if you wanna grow a large plant, you'd like to have a larger net pot. And there is a little bit of truth to that, but with the uh, summer squash, it's not necessary. And by removing one of the uh, four plates, that cover the uh, top of the unit. I can show you a, a close-up of inside. And looking down, the water's uh, nice and clean and there's a very thick, healthy mass of roots within the uh, six gallon container. Uh, this system, you could listen and you could hear water uh, running. The tubing that goes around, the clear tubing, goes around to each of the uh, four jet points and they're all jetting a single stream of water in towards the center where the uh, squash plant happens to be growing. One possible idea that I've considered is to take a uh, short section of PVC pipe and put that around the plant to force it to grow up through it. What that would do for me is give me better access to the uh, plates and to be able to see things such as the level indicator of the nutrient and do maintenance. As this uh, plant continues to grow, it will completely cover the top of this unit and it will become progressively uh, more difficult to uh, maintain things. But the plant itself is beautiful. The leaves are just enormous. Uh, it looks a little bit reminiscent of a uh, tropical plant. Uh, it does not have much in the way of leaf breakdown. So, you know, it does have quite a bit of uh, aesthetic eye appeal. The flowers are numerous and just beautiful colors. If you look down inside one of these, but the uh, 
Fruits continue to be productive. As a matter of fact, there's several in different states of growth that you can see within the uh, center and with squash plants. Let's see, there's even some baby ones down here. Your fruit will come off of the base of this particular variety. It's called an Easy Pick Gold. Uh, Roman numeral two, and I picked up the seeds from uh, Gurney Seeds online. Germination was uh, very simple, and I only planted one seed, and it grew extremely quickly. One final note is that even though I'm using a 100 watt LED light, I do have some neighboring plants that are growing, and uh, this is another 100 watt LED light. And to the uh, left of the plant, there's a Mars Hydro unit, and that has about a 25 watt LED light on it. So the lights from the neighboring plants uh, do get cast uh, from an angle to help supplement the lighting from this 100 watt LED light. Because it's indoors, the large LED lights in my office are providing a little bit of supplemental light as well. So when you're considering light, uh, pick a bright room, find out how much total light you have because oftentimes you can supplement your existing grow light with uh, light that happens to be in the room itself.